Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisa and today we have a few sheep in here. First of all, I just want to say I totally forgot to make the camera point to the middle of the screen. Therefore, everything you did today will be a little off to the left. It's just one of those days. Uh, first of all, uh, we have the doll sheep just for uh, comparison since it is the rake I guessing the other sheeps in here are made out of then we got this is the male the merino sheep made by Giorno pizza and mega gaming rex and then we got the suffolk sheep uh, made by also mega gaming rex men this time with leaf um, so we have two mods in here today there are many more sheep out there um, but this time I was looking for classical uh, domesticated sheep and this was kind of what I thought fit fitted in best. Um, yeah, uh, let's just go in and why don't we compare all three of them as we normally do. Uh, yeah, info for the double sheep. Um, but if we find them more... I'm spelling something wrong. Marino. You know what? I'm just riding sheep because that was Marino. Um, uh, there are none in the wild, and they are domesticated. Um, this can be for two reasons: either it's in stick in the wild, or it is a breed that was breeded uh, by humans and therefore they won't be in the wild and then we could take the last sheep here the suffolk sheep uh, here uh, population in the wild domestic captivity and it's domesticated uh, both of them are um the first part here i don't think the suffolk sheep are irrelevant it is in North America, Europe, Asia, uh, Oceanica, Africa, South America. Um, I guess more places than just these. Um, they can survive in the taiga, tundra, grassland, timbered and desert biome. And one of them would need 500 square meters of land. A extra adult need 40 extra square meters and they don't need any uh, water a juvenile need 20 extra they live from minus 12 to 16 degrees celsius so i don't know how you would have them in the desert unless you have a cooling uh, system in the entire habitat you need a grade 2 fence um uh, four feet 30 so that would be a meter and 40 something like that um, the other sheep here lives in, in Europe and North America USA Alaska Canada England Ireland I guessing again more than these um, because I'm I actually think we also have them in Denmark, but I'm not sure if we have them uh, in the taiga, grassland and timbered biomes. So if you want uh, to have it in more biomes than this, then this uh, merino sheep is better. Uh, but these need much less space. One of them need 125 square meters of land and another need 25 more and a baby needs 15 more uh, They live from minus 12 to 40 degrees Celsius. So these are actually easier to have in multiple Temperatures, but the other one lives in more biomes. You need only a great one fence here uh, But it's need to be four feet point One two five so it's a tiny bit uh, smaller than the other but not much 
now let's take a look at the Dell sheep over here. We only looking in the one box because otherwise we can't remember the rest. But you can have a group size from three, three to forty, uh, and that could be just what you should only have one male, and you can have ninety three. Uh, I'm just going 39 females uh, unless it's only females then you can have 40 and you can have up to 15 if this is only males we have the dominant alpha male here uh, the hierarchy by age and horn size they are polyamorous neutral about humans and guess you really shouldn't enter the habitat Um, now, if you want a big amount of sheep, the marine sh sheep might be the one for you. You can still only have one male if you want females in there, but you can have 499 females. Unless it's only females, then you can have 500. Uh, and this same amount is if it is only male. So if you want a big, big group of them, um, then this can be a solution for you i i don't know uh, and uh, i can't think of reason why you want 500 uh, unless you actually want to play farm in here and not just as a kind of uh, pitting zoo farm uh, in here uh, the dominance is one male ram sheep uh, typically the oldest uh, they are polyamorous, neutral about humans, so that's the same. But here, I guess, can enter, uh, which we kind of need if it's uh, a domesticated animals. Uh, here, the top here is the same actually as the Dell sheep, uh, same numbers here. But again, how often do you need a group size bigger than forty? So it's fine. I do like to have the opportunity put, to put 500 in there, but I'm not sure I actually are going to do it at any time. Uh, dominant male, hierarchy, which by horn, the same, polyamorous, no, neutral, the same, but here guests can enter. Again, it's a domesticated animal, so of course they can. So let's get back to the doll sheep. Yeah, sorry, I have my mic in front of my keyboard so I can't really see what I'm uh, pressing down. Uh, the males grow to a, a meter tall at the shoulder and the females a 10 centimeter lower than that. Um, one meter is around three feet. Um, they live for about 18 years and the males weigh up to 93 kilos and the females 48. Uh, it's uh, around the double amount in pounds. So let's go to the merino here. Um, kind of looks smaller, but this is inch. Um, so 40, 80. 110 so instead of a, a meter it's a meter and 10 so it's actually 10 centimeters taller than the doll sheep um, around two or three inch taller um, here 36 or oh, um, at the shoulder that would be around 16. Yeah, a bit smaller than the bill, but they only live for 12 years. They weigh around 204 pounds and 150.6 pounds here. Uh, half of that would be a kilo. Um, but um, but um, up here. Sorry, we are down here. Thirty-one inch at the shoulder. 
times two and a half, that would be 30, 30, 60, 75, 80 centimeters. So this is the smallest one. Um, they also live for 12 years like the Merino and then weigh both males and females around 300 pounds. Again, half of that would be around 150 kilos so that actually seemed wrong to me why would those be the heaviest if they are the smallest but um sheep have a lot of wool which give a lot of fluff wool don't really i know if you shave a sheep the wool can be very heavy but a big part of that is dirt and other stuff but just a clean sheep with a lot of wool then the wool doesn't weigh that much so the fact that the merino sheep can have a lot of wool can make it look bigger uh, than it would be if it was just shaped um so actually they can still be the uh, same size uh, again uh, mega gamer rex was a wool uh, went over both of these mats, but we don't know which part of them he made and which part of them Leaf or um, Giorno Pizza made um, So th it's hard to compare that way. I uh, actually also thought I would make individual videos for these But I do believe normally if you want to mysticate the sheep you would go for one of these uh, So I feel like comparison would be better um, but um, go back here again. Uh, sexual maturity uh, five years until they die. Offspring per mating event one, two, two. Gestation half a year and they give birth every sing uh, every year. Once a year, sorry. Uh, and they are easy to get to reproduce in captivity. This is the part I actually expect to be kind of the same, but since they live a shorter life, maybe they reach sexual maturity earlier. So let's have a look. Okay, sexual maturity one year, that's uh, much earlier. Again, until they die, one to two offsprings every year and they're pregnant for six months. Very easy. So most of it is the same, but this up here changed. <laughs> and this one goes back to being the same as the dull sheep. <laughs> Sorry, I have sheep on my brain right now. Uh, so they are sexual mature after five years until they die. They can give one or two offspring every year. They are pregnant for six months and they are very easy to get to reproduce in captivity. Um. Del sheep doesn't have any interspecies enrichment and I don't actually expect a domesticated animal to have any so it made sense. Yeah, none of them have. Uh, one thing I actually forgot to test is over here with the enrichment. Um, I put in all of the enrichment item for the um, doll sheep. Now it become very light. I'm just gonna fix the time here. So we have a lot of sun in here. This is the enrichment items for the doll sheep. I expect them to be the same, but I'm gonna check. Don't you worry. So we have both of the trees, the little uh, grab ball. A uh, herb sand marker and the rubbing thingy. And for food enrichment, we have the um, thingy over here. What's it called? Hanging riser feeder. Then we have the uh, small bell barrel feeder laying over here. And then this grassing ball feeder. So I'm just gonna go back in here and just quick check. That's the same. And that's the same. So it's 
all over it's the same so i think it's time for our close-ups um now first of all we have a sexual difference a sexual what's it called a difference between the genders here with the horn first of all the male is bigger but he also has this horn here and the female doesn't uh, if you just move out in the water no, no not in the water just out in the sun that helped and if I just turn the sun a bit how nice would it be if we could do that real life when we take pictures okay you're in the middle of a jump but let's go in here again it looks blurry because fluff doesn't work in planet zoo we have talked about this multiple times but normally if you do like this then it would look better right in front of you than it does when you turn the camera um but i don't see it bad as all i think it's some of the better fluff we have seen here in the game so i'm not mad at it at all uh, the horn um, the part up here, it looks very fake here with the weight, the strands of wool here covers, they would, wouldn't look like this uh, naturally, uh, they would be more rounded, the wool, and kind of just more like here, it wouldn't go up there in any case, uh, so that's actually a bit sad, I think. But otherwise, the horn section looks very well. I like the texture. I'm not that big of a fan of the color, uh, but that's compared with other horns, not other other horns of this particular animal. But it's kind of a lighter horn, if you can say it that way. Um, but this is a mud where they clearly made the sheep. Um, unshaved uh, and that would come into the comparison in a minute so this is very fluffy they could make either make this or make some of them and just him out some of them shaved so it looks like you're uh, in the middle of shaving them and haven't shaved all of them uh, at this point that would also have been cool but i understand i'm not really sure with the triangle here what's going on and down here we also have some kind of weird angles in the middle of it also there um i actually have them a lot of places here we also have lines this way when the hair strands clearly goes this way um so it's not the best to be honest the teeth are good the mouth are good inside of the nose are good um tails good and legs also looks good so the only issue i have is with the face and Going out here, it's actually only the triangle you can see, and going out here, you can't see it at all. I just want to see. Nope, the female doesn't have any of these other marks here, or the triangle there. The female, oh, something seems to be a one, yeah, something glitch a bit there, but it's not bad at all. And here, if you look here, you can really see the fluff here. You can see the line on the skin here, and the rest of it is just fluff. Um, anyway, I just want to make it move a bit, because I want to see if it's because it's in the middle of a jump here. We just use this. But it runs very well, and what happens now is it's gone. The triangle's gone. This is gone. So I think it's only have something to do with the uh, movement of of being in the middle of a jump. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's cute. So all, overall, this is actually very good. Um, you are not that baby? No. You are that baby? Yes, Merino sheep. Um, for some weird reason, we have more colors of babies than we have of the adults. But like, let's just take a look of Lambie. I don't know if Lambie Danish. Um, it's a commercial. Uh, well, it's a toilet paper brand uh, but lamby is a lamb that uh, always appear in the commercial uh, which are very cute here we also have some triangles here but otherwise and here you can see if if they have made some of the uh, sheep's uh, shape then it would have looked more like this and less fluffy and therefore this looks sharper than the adult um, because I believe that these two mothers actually are very very good at what they do but as every time you work with fluff it just kind of seems a bit sloppy to me not that I think it's sloppy but because it gets this blurry look in plenty suit then it seems like the, the mother have been sloppy and I'm pretty sure they have not um, I don't think I have viewed many of their mods on this channel, but I do know they make a lot of mods because I have heard the Leaf Production talk about them a lot. Not Leaf Production, because now he's just Leaf. Um, but, um, um, but I have seen on his channel so many good mods they had done, so again, nothing against them at all. And uh, honestly, also... The fact that these mods are free. There are ways that you can go and support them if you feel like it. Um, but overall they are up for grabs and you can just go and get them yourself. So again this one was from Journal Pizza and Mega Gaming Rex. And now we're gonna go over to the Suffolk Sheep when... Oh that's cute. That was cute. So, next sheep. And here we're gonna find the male and I'm gonna <laughs> cheat a bit. Let the doll sheep, the suffix sheep. There you are. Move you over here in the sun. Boom, there he goes. Because <laughs> this is a male and this is a female. So there's a bit of difference with the size. She have been up fighting um, but otherwise there's no horns here so the male here would be more difficult to recognize but here you can see it doesn't look that fluffy at all because this looks like it have been shaving um, which is kind of why I feel like you could have them together because then some of them would have been shaven and some of them wouldn't but it's totally up to you you can also see the height difference here and this is a female and again the male is taller uh, so they are a size different um, and I'm not sure but I have seen in Denmark in Denmark I do believe we mostly have sheep as a hobby uh, not really we don't have that many big uh, sheep forms it's mostly a hobby animal but that doesn't mean that you can have 30 or something like that um, but there's just not that much money in it unless you have some extremely good wool or something like that um, so I think I have seen sheep like this but who some of them have the black face and some of them have the white face I just said black face in my video sorry about that <laughs> um but uh, that uh, and i don't know if it's this breed or it's if it's another breed that looks similar but they have uh, where they have fur which would be in the face and the bottom of the legs it's black and where it have the wool which is the main part of the body it's wide or wider anyway um it is very good. There's a bit up here which looks 
a bit funky, but that's not new at all. It has this bump up here. Does the female, yeah, the female also have that bump. Uh, again, that could be the animal and not the game or the mud. Teeth look good. <laughs> Overall, the wool looks good. The tail looks good. Back here, and the legs looks very good. Oi. So let's try and watch him move. Now overall I will say we will look at the baby in a minute, but overall I will say the fact that they are that this is the difference between these sheep are basically what you want. Um, it's totally up to you. I wouldn't say the one mud is much better than the other. Um, you will get babies sooner with the merino because you they only need to be one year old to reproduce and these need to be five. Um, and that's the babe that comes here. Um, but all, otherwise it's it's not like that's the biggest reason maybe uh, like me I, I kind of have the I love with these black headed <laughs> sheep um, but in a different way I think is the right way to say it um, because I love that they're if you have a uh, I love when you have a herd of white sheep and then you have one black <laughs> or two blacks uh, so you have the black sheep of the family. I just like that. I think it's cute the one black sheep in the middle of all the white uh, but here the entire breed of them in here in the game is black so it doesn't mean the same to me. Um, the baby here is very cute. A bit of glitch in there disappeared now yeah that it came back here it looks like it might be my computer that takes a bit of time to figure out how it looks because yeah I don't know um, but again it's not a thing you notice when you just play the game and I assume you move well Now, one reason you could use to pick your sheep is if you really, really want a swimming sheep. Because both of them swim, but this is the merino sheep swimming. Works fine, but can you go in the water please? No, because now it's dinner time, probably. What if I move you over here? Would you then go through the water here? You can see the male also swims beautiful, both under and over water here. But I would really like to get you in the water. Yes. And here we have it. Diving sheep. Um, so if swimming are important to to you, then this might be an issue. Um, for me, I don't think that sheep should have to swim at all. Uh, so it just don't make sense to me to give them water to swim in. Maybe I want a little bit of a water area, but then I would just make it more uh, shallow. Uh, this wouldn't be natural in a on a farmer's field. He wouldn't want to have all of this here. It would also make it more difficult to take care of the ground in the area. So that's pretty much all I have for you today, guys. Um, where we gonna end it? We gonna end it over here. It seems like with all of the babies. 
So that's all I got for you today, guys. You know as well, like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys!